Jiangsu Wompek. I'm the director of the Urban Culture Fashion Fest, the first one. Uh, the idea was conceived because um, I'm into the fashion, into the music. I've been traveling a lot, I've been on the bread and butter, I've been on the pool, on the project, the magic show. And all these shows are just for the industry. And we thought about how if we open uh, a, a festival like this to the, to the public. So we found out that it, uh, it has never been done, so we thought we, should, we have to do it. We have to do it, and we were very excited to make this combination of art, music, fashion, and I think it's going well. <laughs> Ten years ago, there wasn't any fashion show. Then a fashion week came to Mexico and, and they start to do fashion week all years and now we have four different fashion shows at the year there's fa uh, fashion week there's Mercedes Benz fashion week and there's uh, BF fashion we are the fourth fashion show uh, on the list but the difference is that we are open to the public we are with the crowd we are with the final consumer we are involving not only the, the industry, but the public, and we think that's very important. We have a lot of influences uh, around the world. Mexico is not like a fashion uh, country. It's, not, it's, more, it's more like a folklore country. We have a lot of culture, traditions, but it's very unique. We are not like in the trend fashion, but we are starting to be there. To be there. The youngest crowd that goes like from 13 to 18 years, they are the most consumers. They are the, the, the biggest uh, line of consumers. So uh, the music and the fashion in Mexico goes with the hand. They, they go together. Fashion and music go together. And we can see that through MTV, through Telehit, to Exa TV, to all the music channels because they have music programs, they have fashion programs, and, that, and now we are taking this to life. The most important brands are no problem. They are like the brand that makes a sponsor for a lot of, of mainstream, ba mainstream bands. There's Monster, La Marca del Diablo. Uh, maybe that's one of the biggest because they are in, in Germany, they are in the United States, they are in a, in a lot of countries. There's um, Tate and Freaky Friends, they are of one of the biggest ones. Uh, there's one that's called Anti Fashion, that's one of the biggest two. And maybe there's a couple of, of ones that they, they are not too much, too, too big, but they are very important. I got involved in this industry, I'm a musician, I'm a singer. I have a, I'm a record artist, I have, my, I have records out, next year is coming my next record. And I have been sponsored by a lot of brands, a lot of these brands. And uh, like five years ago I started a, a little company with, with t-shirts. I, I cut it out because it didn't work, but I got very involved with the industry. And then I start bringing some brands to Mexico, uh, like Volcom, like Famous Stars and Straps, like Emily Strange. And that's why I was involved. And traveling, it's how the idea pop out. Like, let's do this in Mexico. We are, we are a big country, so we can do it. And now I'm, we are combining that, art, music, fashion. We have been invited to, to make this show to other states. So maybe the first step is gonna be to go it's gonna it's gonna go to other 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 states and then go to to two times a year here in Mexico City. Uh, we would like to thank uh, to thank Sprite. Sprite is like uh, they believed us, they believe in us, so I think um, they they are very happy. We made a, a little a strategy for them to the people can buy two cans of Pride and then they, we give them a t-shirt so they can make a stencil on the t-shirt. So I think that's, we're trying to involve the brand with this crowd because we, are not, we don't want sponsors that just sponsors, you know, 
just to give money. We want the brands to involve with the crowd. I think that's very important. And one of the uh, art collective, uh, it's called The City Loves You. Uh, they are making some kind of a sponsor because they are bringing the artist to make some light painting. So I think those are our biggest sponsors. And the production company that it's making all this together, it's called Independent World. Uh, they, we, we are like the biggest sponsor for all this.